Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Solar Ash, where today I think it's going to be pretty much more of the same. We got a lot more anomalies to stab in the eye and then probably another giant space worm to surf on. Um, the way I say that, it does not... It's like, yeah, it's more of the same. It doesn't necessarily sound so exciting. Uh, I am overjoyed. I am overjoyed to have more of the same here. This was not a good plan. I just kind of panicked. Yeah, I really was not expecting that uh, that enemy to be alive again, if I'm honest. All right, let's just uh, have a look around. We've, we've done everything we need to do up on that platform. Except that there were some shield boxes up there, and that probably would be a good idea to go grab one real quick. Okay. And away we go. Wow, your angle of effect is quite wide. Sucker. Okay. Oh, stupid, stupid rock in space. It's tilting erratically. Okay, let's, um, <laughs> now that we've escaped that menace. Let's just go and look for land masses that are not immediately obviously part of the anomalies. I guess another scan would be a good idea here. That looks really important. Okay, but it is an anomaly. Uh, that's the critter for sure. It's not... Okay, it's not quite as clear as it was in the last place where we're going to probably find caches. You know what? I guess let's just start let's start working the um the anomalies. We'll just like start at this end of the area and work our way around the outside edge. Sort of clockwise. Oh, that's a crystal. I like how impressed with herself she sounds. Because if we're honest, what she really is is impressed with me. And it's just nice. It's nice to feel like somebody cares about what you're doing every once in a while. Okay. How do we get across? Because like we're clearly supposed to cross here. This is where all of the floating boxes are. I guess it's just jumping. Ow, ow, shoot. Okay, I see, I see. Well, I guess let's just go real fast. That's definitely cash sign over there. I think I turned off the, the damage spots. Okay. Listen, I'm not upset about more excuses to go fast. Can't contact anyone from our team. I tried firing our signal flares. They went every direction but up. Nothing works here. I couldn't decouple the thrust rings from the air chamber. I just lost it. I wrenched them and they shattered. I can't fix my boosters. I can't fix any of this. Gosm said. To return to the star sea if we lose communication. It's gonna be a long trip back. Not a single nation could agree on a solution. They had so much time to fix this, and they did nothing. I want to save my planet. But death is too good an ending for everyone in charge there. If I don't make it, let it be known. This is their fault. Hey, that's a familiar set of feelings never made it back. Maybe his other caches will have answers. Okay. Uh, is there anything else of interest outside here? That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Alright, I mean, so far the caches have not been super hidden. Like the, um... The initial sign along the trail is, is has been pretty obvious. 
So I guess I'll just keep trusting that. How do I actually get in here? Oh, right. Got to find more, uh, more uh, pylons to disable these. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're doing a different one first. Let's start at the other end then. <laughs> Actually, that's one of the pylons right there. Yeah, I hate to sound like a broken record, um, but the game just feels like... I've made this point already, but the game feels so good and... Like, it's one of those games that makes you feel really cool just moving around. Oh, I got him. Okay. Usually they take four hits, um, which is which is more than a single combo, but I guess I must have gotten an extra one in there somehow. So maybe they're not scattered too far apart. I kind of think maybe we should go check out the area that like overlooks that, uh, despite the fact that that is where the huge uh, monster is. You know, it doesn't seem so angry right now. Probably uh, on account of we haven't stabbed all of its eyes yet. So we can probably be friends for the moment. Sure, we are staying alert for cash sign though. Was that, uh, yes, that is a chest just floating perfectly stationary in midair. It doesn't even have the common decency to, like, move around all spooky like the rest of the debris. I don't know why, but this is far more upsetting to me <laughs> as a violation of the rules of physics. Uh, you know what? I think actually this approach is probably best. Okay, no, it is one combo. Well, it's looking like my theory was maybe, uh, maybe not so good here. I figured the other two pylons for disabling the door were in places where you could see the door from them, but that may, uh, may in fact not be the rules. Oops, shoot. Well, okay. Rewarded, as always. I tried to jump over it, and it, it went up in the air exactly at the same time I did. I will say this. So far, the game is quite easy. Um, that may just be because we're still at the very beginning. Or maybe because I should have put it on a higher difficulty. All right, there's still, still some area over here that could be described as overlooking that door. Ooh. It's like American Gladiators. That's the one thing this game is missing, is some sort of nerf-based ranged weapon. Alright, can we... Yeah, there's some... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay.
Wow. That was remarkably easy. Even though I completely slipped off of the first needle um, and just had to had to reset for the jump. We still had plenty of time. Another one down. You can thank me later, Sid. Okay, so we have an easy climbing path back up here if we need it. But no pylon. Hmm. Well, not to worry about too much. I'd be I'd be a little more concerned if if we were talking about like a secret. But since that's a place we actually have to go to finish the area, I'm confident it won't it won't end up being too hard to find. Oh, my head. Hello. <laughs> that was convenient. This place has seen more than one tragedy. Like, I've read books about the populations of entire planets blinking out of existence, but only the husks of Dross harvesters in the place of once thriving societies. I don't think anyone has ever seen a Dross mid harvest. If only my professors could see this. It was like the Veruki managed to stop this matriarch, but there would have been more coming. My boosters keep malfunctioning at the worst times. I was focused on repairing them and realized the chunk of land I was sitting on had drifted from the larger mass of cloud matter. Talk about panic. I'm gonna rest on this bridge while I catch my breath. I'm so sorry, Verse. I'll find out why this happened to you. All right, one more cash, right? What is this? Hmm. It's a very different sort of stone. So, hold on a second. Oh, I guess I, this is through the black gate, though. We definitely need to clean this area up first. I do wonder, though, if you can... Uh, once people are more familiar with the physics and everything, if there's a way to sequence break that. Oh, can I really not? Huh. Okay. Okay, we've been up here. These ones just because breaking them is fun. So. Alright, there's a crystal over there. Let's just let's just crack that and go by the last cell before we get too far from the center area. Although it is looking like maybe it's not a hundred percent trivial to get to that. Hmm. Ah, I see. I was thinking maybe um, maybe a wrap around from like this platform was the plan, you know, because gravity in this place is uh, unusual at times. That looks like you can get up here. Actually, I do. I think that is probably the intended approach, but with the time skip, you can grappling hook stuff from so far away. And then I guess we may as well um, change our suit as well. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. We'll continue picking up plasma as we're doing stuff, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have enough to repair that by the next time it gets broken. Certainly. All right, time slip, not time skip. How can we help you? But it's all the same lesson. So one more, right? There is one. I'm okay. 
I'll find it. I had to say, I do like the colors of this suit much, much better than the other one. Green's just not quite my thing. Does it look like this? It kind of looks like this might go somewhere, actually. These mines are clearly here to dissuade you from investigating. Well, would you look at that? Ow. Nope, can't do that here. Shoot. I see, I see, I see. Stems. First loved these things. They only smell slightly worse than booster fumes. Didn't stand a chance. Stems. No, oops. First love Objects stems. too close together. Smells slightly worse than booster fumes. They set up a conduit. Not too far from one of the most beautiful trees I've ever seen. Funny thing, looking up at the canopy, I can almost forget for a moment where I am and what's at stake. The Faruki were peaceful. And cared for each other. They had created a utopia. Dross, the Ultra Void, they consume beauty and leave nothing behind. My planet's full of fools and hypocrites. But we don't deserve this. I'm glad we're destroying this place. Of course, we'll lose all account of what happened to these people, but what civilization would want to be remembered like this? I hope there's nothing left. That is kind of an interesting um, rapid cooldown for boosters. I think I'll keep this one. You're right, Verse. I'll finish what you started. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting idea, because, like, ordinarily, uh, my sort of uh, all-consuming existential dread uh, convinces me that, like, the worst thing would be to be unmade in a way that there's, like, no proof of your passing, right? That there's no, no evidence you were ever there. Just to be annihilated in the sort of, like, the purest sense of that. But, like, is that worse than leaving a sort of, like, a grim, desiccated memory of, like... I don't know. That's actually, uh, it's actually kind of an interesting question. Well, here's our eye... Where is the starting point for this thing? Aha! Actually, I should be able to climb this fast enough, right? Okay. It's really easy to get going very quickly. It feels great when you are going quickly, but it's also super hard to stop. Nope. Oh, oh, gosh. I got stuck. Uh, she was trying to climb down the edge of that, uh, that thing that I was trying to fall off of. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try that again. There we go. See, sometimes I use my boosters. It is probably the case that that, uh, <laughs> that second giant boss would have been easier if I had been using the boosters more consistently. 
Uh, I will confess in the heat of the moment, I totally forgot they exist. But also, it was hard enough to stay on track even with them, or even without them. I do worry that the extra bursts of speed might have made it uh, really, really hard to stay on the thing's back. Nothing of value over here. Nope. There we go. Uh, maybe that beacon will be up here somewhere? No, that's not anything. I think there's still one more anomaly left outside of that area, but we're kind of we're coming down to the line a little bit here. We have to figure this out. Ah, huh. The time slip ended. What feels to me like very prematurely there, and I'm not sure why. All right, let's give that one more try. You know, honestly, I might be able to get up to that thing from here. Pages torn from a journal. There's a black spot growing in the sky. Every night it gets bigger. First we had too many stars. Now we lose them every night. I can't take it. Boris freely hunt our once fertile land. And now even the heavens turn their back on us. Tarragon Tanderpaws. <laughs> Tarragon Tanderpaws. You know... <laughs> I don't know for sure. Uh, but I'm guessing, just I, I think it's a pretty reasonable guess, uh, that this game was probably written by Millennials. And I just... Speaking as a millennial, you know, this feels like the art of my people. Um, you can't help but notice there are certain themes that just come up again and again and again. Uh, and this idea of, like, the universe being taken from us, us having to be the, the ones who watch as everything slowly blinks into non-existence. Uh, it's very common. It's a very common <laughs> thought, it seems. Wonder where that could be coming from. Uh, I can, I can make that. Yeah. Well, that's another one. We should get it. Ah, don't, yeah, don't do that. Facing downward. There we go. That's what I needed. I needed to reorient. Will they just let me come up here and grab this before... Okay. I appreciate that very much, actually. It's not going to save you, but I do appreciate it. Ow. I put the camera uh, into the wall. Not necessarily a super helpful thing to do. Okay. You know, the red sky stuff and lots of time loops. That's another <laughs> a very common thing. It's almost like everything is frozen. Simultaneously frozen and, and falling apart in novel ways from which we will never recover. Weird. Ow. All right, uh, 
Yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay. So I have no idea where the eye is. We'll just have to follow it more or less blind here. I will say those sometimes happen so fast that they're kind of disorienting for me and I'm the one controlling the movement in the camera. I apologize if though if those sequences are like really hard to follow as an observer. There's at least one more anomaly in this sector. Better scan for it. Well, I know where it is. I just don't know how to get in there. Uh, I guess we can go back to the door and maybe there will be some kind of indication. Probably should have just crossed the bridge. Whatever, this will work. If I, like, can I interact with the door to get pings, or... No, I cannot. Hmm. I mean, could we maybe just figure out another way in? The pylons are visible from quite a distance. So I suppose if we get, uh... If we get a decent vantage point, we could just look around... Based on the positions of the other two, my expectation is that it would just be like out in this immediate area somewhere. It's a pretty orange glow by that tree. I wonder if that's... Nope, it's just part of the tree being unusually well lit. Well, hmm. You're not an anomaly, you're just... Have we been up there yet? Oh right, the Dross Harvester, yeah, this is... She has stuff to say. And I did look around this, yes. Hmm. Well, where the hell is the other pylon then? It's definitely not visible from here. Oof. Apologies for the way the camera pulls in very suddenly when I do that. Well... I'm assuming that um, that Sid is not going to be able to provide us with any useful telemetry or anything. Okay, so this was one. The other one was like right where we came in, right? So these two were pretty close together. Makes me think the third one probably is also like in the immediate environs, but I don't know. Don't know where it would be. Uh, 
Uh, okay, there's a there's a um, plasma crystal over there, which means that that's an area we haven't been to yet. So it's as good a place to start as any. All right, I have just ignored this thing for long enough. Not down there. So this is the first one we activated. actually see the other one from here. Huh. Okay, just a weird, weird little ledge for no reason. Well, I'll tell you what I might do here. I might just pause the recording real quick and scour the area uh, and bring y'all back in when I find it, unless we can find a way in that doesn't require it. Doesn't seem terribly likely. Let's let's go see if Sid has anything to uh, to offer on the subject. Oof, almost. Got a little, little too greedy with the number of platforms I was allowed to skip. Detected. Loading emergency services. Uh, nope. We're not even allowed to, uh, to chat. Can you scan for void? You have recovered. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. Well, okay, yeah. I'm gonna pause the recording here and scour the area for this thing, and when I find it, I'll just, I'll see y'all then. All right. I'm not certain that I found it, but I have definitely found a place we haven't been yet. There's this uh, this building that I've started to work my way up um, right across from the big scary angel monster. So let's hope that it's accessed from in here. I don't know what else this could be. I feel like we've discovered. Yeah, here we go. I feel like we've discovered all of the other things in this area. How am I gonna do that? Ah, probably, probably by using an intermediary thing. Here we go. Oh, is it is it necessary that I I probably could just ignore this thing? Ooh, okay. There we go. But why ignore when I could murder? Okay, so there was just a whole building that I had not been in. And this was not, it's not really directly overlooking the door. It's kind of, sort of. Wow. Okay, camera, I get it. Uh, I was not looking around for very long, but there was another plasma crystal inside the building and some more plasma boxes. So you can see we're almost at 2k again already. I think we probably are not going to need to equip the double plasma suit again anytime soon. This place, it feels peaceful. First time I've had a chance to collect my thoughts since I got here. Well, I mean, except for the part where I was lost. Uh, but, you know, aside from that, this is the first time. Can I read any of these? I can. Uh, they don't have anything written on them, actually.
Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tooltips. I do, in fact, know how to skate. It's probably sort of just like a... What do you call it? A bit of an underhanded insult there. Oh, no, I was just making sure. I'm not... I'm not trying to say that you obviously don't know what you're doing or anything. Ow. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that's harsh. Where's the thing for... I have no idea. Uh, anyway. So there is that little door down below the tree, and we should probably check that out. But let's go this way first, because this is where the anomaly is. Knew they'd be keeping something over here. All right, we should definitely clear this thing out before we start the sequence. Okay, wow. Uh, I almost failed to do that in a really dramatic way. Well, I have to say, I feel like the anomaly sequences have been um, have been a little bit easier in this area. So hopefully, this sentry is also uh, easier. It's much less pleasant to look at. I, t I do not like it at all. In fact. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll just check all that good stuff out in a moment here. Does this door... Wow. Okay. Does this door open? It does not. I wonder if... Well, we'll figure it out. Let's let's go focus on the important thing for the moment. How do I... How do I even begin to get up on this thing? Let's see. All right, not great. Yeah, I don't see any indication. Ah. Ooh, okay, wow. All of a sudden, I am getting that, uh, that full-on feeling of height here. It's probably not a good idea to stab a thing that is this tall while you are on top of it. Maybe we could build, like, um... Never messed with a void runner before, huh? Some kind of large ballista, or... Okay, I can see the... I can see the node on the tentacle there, I think. Uh, maybe not. Oof. Yep, yeah, that's on me. a tough one. I definitely needed to fire the boosters. Ah, uh, not quite. There we go. 
didn't quite have a clear line of sight. The way gravity shifts based on the um, orientation of the monster's limbs while you're up on top of it is very disorienting sometimes. Come on, you. having to chase this one. Uh, not ideal. You do not want to get stuck climbing. Alright, sometimes you just have to divert its attention a little bit first, you know? Not so tough after all. Uh, shield box, shield box. Here we go. That's not great either. Ooh, okay. So the tail now, right? All right, just a little, just a little upside down. I'm fine. Ah, uh, that one's not hookable. Okay, we're just falling. It's fine. It's fine. That's, um, that's a tougher one. Yeah, it's a little, a little disorienting. God, it's if you boost at the wrong time it is easy to get going so fast that you like you can't recover aim between the uh, the pins so I'm not gonna be able to cheat this one right because the actual node is on the other side of the tail tentacle so I'm just gonna have to wait for it to come down Okay, there we go. Yep, got it. There we go. It feels so cool to get it right. It does feel to me like it's maybe a little bit unfair to assume that this being is responsible for what is happening. I mean, she certainly doesn't seem happy to see me. I am not the cause. I am the effect. Enough of your riddles, Echo. I have to save my planet, and then maybe I can save you. I know you're in pain. Okay, so Ray has some sort of previous familiarity. She has, she has information we don't have. Oh, you would help me. You 
interlopers drove this spear through my chest, left me to die in this place. Eons I've been a prisoner, and now you offer me the key. So you are trapped here. Help me activate the Starseed, and I'll free us both. My torturer offers me a deal. How kind. Torturer? I'm not your enemy, Echo. Your every move intensifies my pain. Your blind ambition. All your good intentions. Everything you touch turns to ash. She does seem to have me there. Although, to be fair, it's because I'm hitting a lot of it with my magic claws. Well, we're getting there. I don't even know which wall that was. Cuz we have I think a couple here and then one also in the in the city area. Yeah? <laughs> Has it gotten worse somehow? We found a signal from the XR Polaris. A repeating Mayday signal. We can't tell how long it's been transmitted. Judging from the rate of decay, a long time. The Void Runner ship. Any signs of life? From the ship's diagnostics, conditions are incompatible with life. But how is that possible? I know other Void Runners made it to the surface. This is making less and less sense. We would agree that the logic of the situation escapes even us. Sid, I'm alone here, aren't I? I don't know why or how, but everyone's gone. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the, th the thing about millennial art is how uh, thematically hopeful it always is. So, there was a dark wall. Do I have, does my map have an indication of where the new break is? It does not. Uh, there was a dark wall up here. Nope, it's not that one. Well, I think it, I think it was the one in the city. Um, let's go check that tree one more time. Is that a giant crow sitting on top of that? No, it's probably just another one of those weird spikes, but it sort of looks like a crow. I should stop looking up. I never, nothing, nothing ever, nothing good is ever learned by looking upward. In any video game ever, in fact. Like best case scenario, you see Corvo Atano two seconds before he kills you. Is that a red crystal outside? Oh yeah, yeah, but I've gotten we've gotten that one. So this is just locked. That's very curious. This game is not um so far has been like pretty straightforward and linear. It is very weird for there to be a thing that we don't know how to open and we're like, we're done with the area and we still don't know how to open it. I don't know what to make of that. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and warp back to the city and we will see if I am correct about where that gate is. We'll go uh, we'll go activate the next uh, the next node before we call it here. Yep, that is that one. There are still the other instances of the woman here to find as well. Um, that is a thing worth doing, but I kind of want to just like stick with the momentum of the story for now. 
the story that I kind of sort of, kind of sort of understand. I'm following. It's just there's a lot of information that we do not have privy to, you know? That we are not privy to, we do not have access to. How do how do words even work? Okay, so there is still stuff. If we fell off, there would be something to fall onto. Hello. Oh. Please, don't interrupt our connection. Please, Biotic. Time is short. We're woefully unprepared. We must draw energies for the road ahead. Uh, I have so many questions. Sorry, what? What connection? The Mycelium Network is the source of all knowledge. The elders know all. Then let me speak to your elders. Countless lives are at stake. Uh, Biotic? Speaking with the elders. Marvelous idea. Especially the part where you leave me alone. Road? What road? The only thing out there is death. We must reach all the stations. Receive the wisdom of the elders. My final day among the living draws short. My final day as myself. Do you know about the remnants? Do your elders know where they came from? The elders know all. Well, that sure would be handy if that were true. Where can I find the elders? Not here. Not here. Our hovel is just down the road, next to the Whispering Sanctum. Easier to answer questions in the comfort of one's home. Hmm. All right, all right. I'm going to talk to the elders. I'll let you know how it goes. Wait! Recite the Spore Song blessings to be granted audience with the elders. And, um, they'll probably think you are me, which is for the best. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity, part the eternal veil and enlighten me. Spore Song. Got it. He didn't say his name, right? Like, we know his name's Arik because it's on the subtitles, but uh, Ray also knew it, which tells us that either she was already familiar with this being or she is also reading the subtitles. <laughs> really could be either. Well, I sort of thought that this was going to pop open and give us plasma. Nope, can't do that. It doesn't look like... I mean, it looks like I've got it lit up as, as much as it's lighting, right? This is a time thing where I have to light that and then... Okay. Oh, I see. I had to bring the little... Um, little like floating flotsam bits back here to ignite this okay okay i follow oh this is neat can i nope it is not <laughs> it is not a telescope it is a stone carved statue of a telescope it's missing the important part Good, great, cool, excellent. Um, just out of curiosity, is there anything of interest over here? Nope, it does loop all the way around, which is fun.
It is weird that there's like a whole platform over here. Can I stand on this mushroom? Nope, everything is real slippery. Right? It's odd. But I guess it doesn't really look like there's a way up, so... This game. Like, look at this! Look at this very excellent, spooky gothic castle ambiance here. Ah! Give me gravity. There we go. We are going to need at least some blood or plasma. Hey, that's just like a clearly visible cache. A couple clearly visible caches. Weird. Okay, well that looks pretty reachable that there's goop all up the back of that uh, spine. Oh, okay. Howdy. Those things are tough. Yep, all according to plan. Oh. Did you leash? Is that what happened there? Ow. Okay. I could maybe have done that, you know, a little more cleanly. Uh, so there's obviously stuff to, igni uh, to ignite here. Where do we get the things to bring back to them? Where do I find my little sparks? Is that a dispenser up here? It is in fact another receptacle. Seems like we're gonna be doing a lot of this particular thing. Well, let's go grab that first. Ah, darn it. Ow, yep, yeah, that's, that's my bad for ignoring you. Clearly, uh, I made it feel unloved. Can you imagine? What a cad. are weird. These bones, ancient and colossal, they are from someplace out of space and time, someplace greater than our own. I think these creatures were worshipped. I walk among a graveyard of gods. The team has readied their conduits. Even as our communications fail us, I can feel the star seed's power growing, its vibrations intensifying. I can barely contain the jubilation. Pyat sounds uh, intense. Things seem to be going well for Pyat. Hope I can get in touch. Okay. Let's... Ooh, wow, it, it's pretty good at, pretty good at tracking. Ah, shoot. 
Alright, so we have a dispenser for the spores here. I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... It seemed like they stopped following us pretty quickly in the other place. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring them all the way over to the receptacle needed to open up entrance to that tower. Huh. I was misremembering. There was, um... There was a grappling hook over the other spike pit that we jumped over. Okay, so here's a dispenser for the blue spores. We saw... Okay, that. Oh, see, yeah, that would be, that would be helpful. This is cool. That does not open the door. It merely gives me this. Uh, what was the... It was a blue one. Okay. That's pretty neat. I'm getting distracted though. I was trying to just clean up those two caches real quick and then uh, and then go activate Sid. I'll never be clean. You and me both, sister. All right, so this is not a solution to this problem. I must find some other solution to getting to this cache. I mean, can I, can I just climb up the mushrooms on the side here? Shouldn't seem like it. Uh, it might be the case that there's another rail to extend from somewhere. I'm thinking potentially up there. Let's go have a look real quick. Structure looks undamaged. Was it built inside the ultra How is that possible? I mean, really, I don't understand how any of this is possible or indeed happening. Well, hmm. This one may not be so trivial to just, like, clean up real fast. All right, let's let's go activate Sid. We'll figure this out next episode. I've got to say, critical systems offline. Repair network to resume functionality. Anomalous power source is detected. Sending location data to your multi-tool. Okay, more stuff with Arik. I kind I kind of like him already, honestly. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. Okay, nothing new. Scan for void runner caches in the sector. Okay, there are four unrecovered void runner logs in this sector. How can we help you? She sounds worse than she did in the other areas, right? That's not just me. I'll get you back online, Sid. Hmm. Where do I start? Well, at the top, I guess. Let me. Can we jump up here real fast? No.
Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, all right. There's a lot of stuff to work out. This is... I gotta stop now or we're gonna go for another hour. Uh, this is where I have to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. This game is a tremendous amount of fun. When you come back next time, tomorrow, we're gonna spend our whole day in this big spooky castle area and I just could not be happier about that. And we'll see you then.